This season, you'll notice some NFL players wearing this thing on their head. It's called the Guardian Cap, and it's thought to reduce concussions. And the players have mixed feelings about this contraption. What exactly is it? It's a soft shell attachment that goes over the helmet and weighs less than seven ounces. The cap itself was actually invented in 2010 and introduced into NFL training camps in 2022. In 2023, the league actually required it in training camps in certain positions that had the most head contact, including running backs, linebackers, and linemen. The NFL reported that due to this mandated use, they saw a 50% reduction in concussions in those positions. Therefore, in 2024, they mandated the use of guardian caps for all positions, with the exclusion of quarterbacks and specialists. This was just in training camp, and they now are allowing the use in regular season games. Six players use them during the preseason game, including five from the Indianapolis Colts. No matter how small, even if it's not a massive increase, I feel like it's a positive. As someone who wants to have kids someday, I want them to also know that, hey, dad isn't just telling you to be safe. He also was safe when he played. Like, he did everything that he could to protect his head, to protect his brain, to protect his long-term health. I want to inspire kids to think that health and safety is also cool. You can do cool things out on the football field and still wear a guardian cap. That's Kylan Granson of the Indianapolis Colts, and he makes valid points. So what's the data? A concussion happens when there's head impact that dissipates force throughout the brain and it causes it to jostle around inside of the skull. I've talked about this in many videos and concussions have long-term side effects, including CTE. There's already been three deaths this season related to head injuries during football games. So whatever we can do to reduce or mitigate this risk should be very important information. The real question is do Guardian caps work and are they worth the $70 price tag? Should you be buying one to protect your children and should football players be mandated to wear these? This is a really polarizing topic. You have people that think football is very barbaric and whatever we can do to minimize concussion is absolutely worth it. And then you have people over here that don't believe it and think that these things look silly. The NFL claims this 50% reduction in concussion rate, but that data has not been released or published. So we're taking this information at face value. On its website, Guardian states that the XT model reduces the impact by up to 33% and the beefier model used in the NFL by up to 40%. And the beefier model is $125. There have been four published studies on this topic, so I'm going to go through each study, explain the results, and so we can decide if the data is there. The 2017 lab study performed drop tests using the Guardian cap to see if it made a difference in impact force acceleration. And drum roll please. It failed to demonstrate significant improvement in the helmet's ability to mitigate impact forces at most locations. Areas of the helmet where it did actually help is on the back of the head, which is the least likely place for you to get hit during a game. This is a 2021 study comparing the Guardian cap to the Protec cap, and it showed that the Guardian cap did reduce forces by about 10% compared to the ProTech of about 5%. Is that clinically relevant or can we translate that data to an actual reduction in concussions in a game? Enter real world study number one. It took 14 players head to head with the Guardian cap and without to compare head impact kinematic outcomes. And guess what? It did not show any significance between the two groups. In the most recent study published within the past year, using instrument and mouth guards to detect differences in head kinematics data during head impact. And this study also showed no difference. So we have claims by the NFL showing a reduction in concussions, but none of this data has actually been released or published. We have zero studies that show a reduction in the amount of concussions during the game. Therefore, what we know is that we don't know if it actually does reduce the amount of concussions. In my opinion, does it hurt? Absolutely not. Do these things look silly? Who cares? If it can improve the health of our players, I'm all for it, but I do think that ongoing studies are needed to see whether or not the economic impact of these tools are actually going to help our players. And that begs the question, what do you think? Do you think our players should be wearing them? And would you purchase this for your child? Or if you're a player, will you be wearing one? Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm really anxious to see how all this data will pan out.